Trust the Kicks, Dallas, sneaker cop pickup video. Um, second one we shot so far, we're just here to show y'all what we bought. We're gonna start with the clothing items first because it's a little harder to grab those than the shoes. A uh, prime example will be the Kanye West No Parties in LA crew neck. We got that brand new. Um, we actually got a rare size small. It's kind of rare because a lot of females and women love wearing the small Kanye West merch. Very fresh. Right here, we got a brand new bake shirt that we bought. Uh, we met a new bake supplier out there who supplies with a lot of bake material. Out of all the bake stuff that we got, a lot of the things we have are brand new. Brand new items. You just keep over here with you. All right. The one we got coming off the screen is the one everybody loves, the I Feel Like Kobe. To commemorate with Kanye West was at Kobe's last game in the Staples Center. That's a good seller right there. Last but not least is a Los Angeles pop-up shop, Kanye West t-shirt, also brand new. See what I'm I also I want to let you know that it's kind of hard to obtain the Yeezy merch if we're not in states where they have the pop-up shop. So sometimes it is harder to buy the stuff if you don't have to go to places that don't have a pop-up shop. Um, the next item we're gonna go with is the bake hat. We bought a couple of the same style bake hats in different colors. The reason we bought them in different colors is because we figured that people would match them up with different bake shirts that we have. It's the red and blue one you're looking at now. That's the green and black one. These are the two more of the most popular ones, which will be our shark hats. Both of them being brand new. We got it in red, we got it in black. We also have here a couple of bleach shirts that we picked up. That's the Kobe Bryant edition. Bathing ape hat we have. Uh, catch a seat. We actually call this the um, KD baby name hat. He had it on in an interview, and ever since then we've been hype beasting for it. That's a hard one to find, man. Another one that we call the KD hat, he wore the same style hat. When he was on the podium talking about Western Westbrook, and they said, you know, do you have a problem with Western Westbrook? And that's the hat he was wearing. We got another one baked with the, with the leather brim. This one right here has an all leather brim on it. It's camo, leather strap. You know, just some basic bait hats. We carry a lot of Supreme hats in store because it's easier to obtain those. The bait ones, we gotta go all the way out of town to find. Um, another bait item that we got that's gonna be real popular in store are the bait shorts. These right here are the purple camos. And on the back, they have the WGM. So yeah, we have a couple styles in these. We'll actually have three to four more coming in weekly because that's how fast they sell. We got a couple more styles to show you guys. This is the basic blue, which matches the blue hat. You got the blue hat. Okay. You got the blue shark hat too, though. So it's a good graphic, smart shark hat. We got that too. We try to get the shark hats to go with the shark shorts. Black with the shark, with the pocket on the back. I don't know if you can see that, but it does have a pocket. Gray, nice and simple. These right here have been real popular since we came in. Bape phone cases. As you can see, they're camo in color. We got a six and a six plus in stock. Only two. Guy we bought them from only had two. So we only got two in stock. A few other accessories we picked up were actually Supreme baseball bats. They're on keychains. So we had to pick up a lot of Supreme things when we're out because it's hard to find those in Milwaukee. So we bring them back here. Um, let's see, we got the Supreme bucket, New York edition. This was actually worn, so we got a better price on it. So in store, it's gonna be real cheap. Another clothing item we got, which we're gonna end up end up the clothing with, kind of, was these hats that we got from a big famous YouTuber. I know you guys know his name, Kais. 
I was about to go with the crew, but that's not his name. It's the name of his channel. And we got the out of sneaker con Dallas Kais was also there. He was signing autographs, taking pictures. This time around, instead of bringing shirts, he brought a hundred dollar box. So we got his box from the um, Dallas show. Comes with a hat, socks, t-shirt, and shoe things. At the end of the video, we'll actually pan and show some couple more of the bait pieces we got. Just to save time and just don't we'll, we won't get boring. We'll show you a couple pieces. We want to get over to where everybody wants to see the shoes. But here's some babe stickers we have in store also now. Dallas sneaker count was also good for us. We were able to pick up a bunch of nomads. They were a lot harder for us to buy in Milwaukee. Um, a couple of them would be the all red camo colorway. Um, we actually grabbed some of those before we went to SneakerCon at the mall, the pairs they had left. We sold out at the event, so we had to go back at the event and buy a couple more pairs from vendors. So we got about a size run of those. We also were able to grab the Peach Women in of these. Um, we got a couple men's sizes, which would be like an 11, 11 and a half, which would equate to like a 9 and a half, 10. So we went ahead and picked those up. Pretty, pretty hard to find, definitely in the Milwaukee area. The next one we bought was another women NMD, which would be a 10. Uh, both of those NMDs were hard to get in the Milwaukee area, only because a lot of men wanted the women's sizes. Um, we actually read up on a couple of the all white NMDs. We know they've been around retail. So we went ahead and just grabbed a few. They're kind of like white Air Force Ones nowadays. We don't sell them for that much, but people like to come in and do a lot of trades for them. The new so Air Force Ones. Also, also like to grab a couple sizes of those. Um, another Adidas that we bought, that I want to bring to the front of the screen. Got to time in. Is the Prime Knit Adidas that we bought. And um, we got these at a good deal. The thing about these is the sock liner is prime knit, the material is prime knit, and it's like a peach in color. It's actually a men's shoe. Myself, I thought it was a women's shoe, but it's actually a men's shoe. It's pretty dope. Um, it probably will go fast in store because it is a smaller size, but this is what we have on hand. Um, we also went ahead and picked up a couple more of the blue sizes. This pair is actually still in stores everywhere, to be honest, but it's worn. So we're gonna have a real, real cheap, way below retail coming soon. Um, I think that does it for the Adidas, other than the Yeezys that we picked up. Um, a quick caveat about these, if you go back and check our video, I think we have this recorded for our Dallas recap video, where we actually traded these for a pair of Moon Rocks. Good trade. We had to add cash on our end, but we kind of sold out of these gums to have a soul protector on the bottom. Uh, kind of, we sold out of the gum, so it was nice to pick up a pair of these. Very, Very nice dead stock. We also picked up a, a size five moon rock, rare size to have. Um, things like this usually don't move fast, but when the right buyer comes in, they love that we keep the smaller sizes. It, it's more expensive than a lot of the pairs we have, only because it is a five. <clears throat> um, and then you know, as you can see from the video, we picked up several pairs of pirates. We probably got. One, two, three pair of pirates. Smaller size, bigger sizes. We went pirate crazy. Everyone knows these are easiest to obtain because they restocked twice, but they do okay in store. We do have them for sale or trade. Now we can go over to the Jordans that we copped. Actually, yep. we got a special story about the Balenciagas. A kid came by, he was looking for a trade. We, um, we actually had the Metallic Fives released this weekend. Nike signed on back, OG. Um, it was actually team early. He came and did a head up trade for a pair of fives, for a pair of Balenciaga size 42, very clean. And the kid who wanted them, he said he really wanted these. Normally we would value his Balenciagas at more, but since these are early, we decided that we had to sell them more because we pay more than retail for them was the last pair and he did get a good deal. Um, a couple more of the shoes that we got miscellaneous wise would be the Gamma 11s. This is the number one best seller in store. These- so if you ever see us at a sneaker show, we buy all Gammas, any condition. Of course, we got another pair of Jordan 11s, which would be the infrared lows. They are worn in condition, but we got them for a good price. So when we can pick up things like this for a good price out in different cities, we like to pick them up and go ahead and sell them for cheap in store. 
We also out there in Dallas, we picked up a pair of brand new OVOs for a nice price DS. Oops, that's a $600 drop. Don't want to mess up the DS or scuffing. OVOs, right. A couple of these that we forgot were um, a couple of big sizes in the Navy, Ultra Boost, and the Dolphin Ultra Boost. I'm probably wrong about that nickname, but that's just what we call them here at Trusted. Um, these we call for a good price. They actually are hard to come across for us. Archer Boots in a big size. We have a lot of Bigfoot people who like to trade for these. So when we come across them, we definitely try to pick them up for you guys. And the last one we saw was kind of like my personal pickup. Um, I bought a pair of these for myself out there and they had an extra 10 left. Uh, so I went and picked it up. It's the Olympic Presto. So we probably end up selling these real close to retail, not trying to make a million dollars off of them. That's just a shoe I feel like people in Milwaukee would love and maybe want to trade for. Also, caught a pair with the Kobe's out there with no box for a real cheap price. Um, on the anniversary day, we're thinking about doing a sale on them, so be on the lookout. And the last shoe we want to talk about for the end of the video is this French blue, which is very important because it's not ours. So please, we're looking for the vendor next to us. Like, being that we packed this one shoe off this table, it was under, we assume it maybe it fell in our box. We do not want it. We're gonna post this on the gram and it's in our Dallas recap video. We're looking for the owner, size 10. We know who you are, email just us. email us, comment on the YouTube. We're definitely gonna get back to you and send us out. We do apologize, you'll have it, overnight delivery. But we do have your French Blue, size 10. Coming soon, another video. We'll be right back in Houston and Dallas in two weeks. Sneaker Summit. Pickups coming soon. Check us out out there at the Summit, guys. Check us out.